Time Gear. Yeah, I don't think we should ban Min Min, but I would have loved it if we kept the rule set where if there's a DLC character, we ban the character from competitive play for two weeks. Because that's what every other quote unquote, I know Smash isn't necessarily an esports game, but we're trying to as a grassroots scene. But every other esports game, like Valorant per se, they get a new character, but the character is somewhat banned from competitive play for about a week or two. Even Overwatch did the same thing. I know those are first person shooters, but I do think banning a character at launch for about a week or so would be pretty nice, I think. Just to give time for players to see how, you know, if there's anything broken, because there's a lot of broken things that happen in patches, especially when there's a new character. Yeah, that's, I, I, I would kind of almost agree with that if there are real tournaments, but it's just online, so cares? Yeah, on, 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 <laughs> yeah, it's, it's online. If it were, if you were, off, yeah, if it were on, offline, I would say for sure, but it's online. And no, I don't think Mimin needs to be banned. I agree. I don't I think, think she needs all. to be banned. I think she's a great character, but not ban worthy, not game breaking or anything. No, she's not. I I honestly think uh, Mithra is way more ridiculous than Min, Min. <laughs> like way more oppressive than anything Min Min does. Whatever. And I think you guys are gonna see that very soon. That whatever whatever brawl mark. Like, you know what I you feel really like? You really can't play against her. Yeah, you. She feels like Brawl Marth to me. No, she's literally Sword Chic. Yeah, Sword with Chic. Witch Time. But I'm not even gonna get into it. Character. Yeah, yeah. Different. Sword Chic with Witch Time ban Steve. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, cause there's no offline Steve right now. So who knows? We'll have to but, wait uh, how offline plays. I, I think don't know. the character is insane though. Like I think he literally has things that just don't even makes sense <laughs> like they're just too ridiculous they are ridiculous indeed but we'll see how things can ridiculously be when we get into time gear and you here in this winner's finals of course uh like i said i'm a broken record at this point man but the strip the the script calls for Mega Man grand finals and we'll see if time gear has anything to say about that script we might be getting a rewrite here as we get on to game one of winner's finals here between these two players when is 2GG having offline tourneys again? I don't know, man. When everybody gets vaccinated and uh, California stay lost as we can gather in mass. And I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon, realistically. Maybe uh, towards the ending of the year, maybe towards uh, spring. I'm sorry, maybe towards summer, maybe fall. But uh, stay tuned, man. If you guys follow us on Twitter, you guys already know when we release that information. But the information yeah. going on here whenever, is time gearing you. Whenever that gets announced, you guys will be the first to know. Every, everyone will know about it. But as of yet, you know. Can't do anything like that. Exactly. At two G anyway, gaming on Twitter. Follow anyway, that. Um, yeah, this is kind of going how I expected in neutral. It's the range where Mega Man wants to set up is kind of difficult if yeah. the arms are already there. Exactly, well, and that I, was the I'm situation curious. that Hero was also having here. So that's gonna be that's what we talked about two earlier strides. Uh, Mimin doesn't outzone everybody. The thing is, she outzones the other zoners. So other zoners have to play a little bit differently towards the character. But we'll see, man. You definitely handle this matchup. Pretty, pretty strong. 104 so far. Yeah. I'm just curious as to what his uh, openers are going to be like. What are the moves he's going to use to actually try oh, to approach the arm? No. But, yeah. Big tag there. Off stage. Wow. That was, that was so smart. Huh. Oh, and he got the real in animation from the up B. I can only scoff at that because I wasn't surprised because of the way that worked. That was just perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was really perfect. Yeah, I like that choice to go deep with the leaf shield, though, to catch a jump. That was actually so smart. Oh, I like that. So he actually can time his uh, arms to go through the metal blade. If he just attacks it, he just goes right through it. That's actually really good for him. Because normally, like, he uses the metal blade to lock him down in shield, and then he can sneak in the grab, but Min, Min doesn't even have to block. Just attack. Big was so beefy. Another one. All right, the recovery here. You at the ledge, 130. The Double the arms. The shield has been sacrificed a little bit. He's got to watch the next hit he does take on shield. 
you slowly maneuvering around with all the projectiles Mega Man has in play. Nice. Really good trip to the landing. Made it really tricky. Oh. And the snipe, dude. Wow. Got right where Min Min wanted to dip low to get to aim, uh, align herself with the ledge, but you saw that coming. Yeah, just judging how he's playing here, like, definitely has the ability to. Oh, he's gonna drop that stock, but. Yeah, he definitely has the ability to just keep playing patiently in neutral, not really worry about getting boxed out as much. Just try to find the little openings he can. Chilled again. It's actually funny because both these characters do like a similar thing to where they can like use their normal move and jump back and move forward at the same time, but Min Min's just kind of invalidates Mega Man's to the point where you can't really use that as a movement option, whereas Min Min can. Nice parry. Oh, gets the snipe again. Gonna go low. Oh. Almost. Tries to catch the real in animation with the down air yet, yet again. I'm surprised he didn't just go off stage and try to forward her him, but try to play safe. Almost gets the shield poke. Ooh. Oh, oh and the arm being know. used yes, so no. far off the end. Ooh, and yeah. the snipe. Wow. Yeah, Mimi can definitely cover that angle with the dragon laser, and that'll be game one going to time gear. Uh, man, script was, looking really crazy. rough right now, man. I'm telling you. you uh, Time Gear looking for the rewrites. Yeah, that was a very good uh, offstage play there. Because Mega, Mega Man definitely would have been able to come back to the ledge if Time Gear didn't, didn't position the Dragon Laser in that spot. Yeah, if it had been any other character, that would have been fine. Or if Dragon Laser wasn't, wasn't in that spot, yeah, it would have been a different story. But nonetheless, <laughs> Time Gear is able to cover that angle. And that's the thing about her late dragon laser, she's able to cover angles that can be pretty rough. And if it's not dragon laser, then it's definitely gonna be uh, pretty much the ram, the, what's it called, ram ram, I believe? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's not using ram ram as much, just cause it just seems like Time Gear really just prefers all the added pressure that comes to using Megawatt. And for a good reason too, just the amount of knockback that you see from Megawatt, but also shield damage that we've been seeing from Megawatt. It's just something you have to really consider. Hey, Smash Bill counter pick here for you. Interesting because he didn't actually do a counter pick until uh, game five he's Leon, but he's already, you know, showing a new stage here versus Min Min. Ooh, missing the punch and the lift grab. <laughs> Just the angles, too. Like, uh, Mega Man has poor recovery in when it comes to horizontal. I think it's believe it. Yeah, horizontal in terms of. So he doesn't suffer vertical. So if he has to make that horizontal recovery, just Min Min has time with the dragon laser to definitely do it. I believe the proper word is power dragon, but unfortunately, I talked about her, her tether recovery. It's good. It's just not as strong as all the other tethers in the game, like Joker's tether per se. And you can see how it just couldn't get that angle there. Yeah, you just applied a lot of pressure off stage too, so it was difficult for Min Min to come back without a jump. Oh, shield. shield pressure. Man, that forces you to jump too, and that sends situations for Time Gear to start evaluating how you react and then punish accordingly. Because, yeah, that Min Min can definitely go for something like up special and then try to get a punish from that high ceiling. Yep. Oh, nice patience. Not letting him get that up smash on shield for free. Taking so another back, I try to get the second one. Definitely would have been really good for him if he could catch that double jump, but. Okay, crash bomb here. Nice. Let's get just enough time to get back on stage. Oh, this is some really good movement from you. Yeah, time gear is kind of struggling to get out of the corner yet again. Another back throw call out. 
Oh, and Metal Blade to kind of I... stop a little bit of the pressure here. Oh. Um, forward smash to cover the roll. Very similar how we saw Wadi oh. use Shadow Ball to also, co also cover rolls from getting this ledge. Yeah, that that situation there with Crash Bomber is good because, like I said, you want to force your opponent to consider their situations at the ledge. And if you get them to respect you by holding shield or even moving around, that gives you time to come back. Yep. Yeah. Exactly why he does it. 59, jeez. But another snipe. Not sure how uh, Min Min is uh, getting hit by that so often. I guess time you're just getting caught pressing a button, but that's the only button he needs to press. Eliminates that stack <laughs> so easily. He's out of here. Oh, smash, yep. Juicy combo for Min Min. Ooh. So scary at the ledge. But it's the crash right into the forward air and the back air. Going crazy for small stage plays. If you got the second back air to connect, it could be really good for him. Oh no! Whoa. Yeah, power dragon laser! Oh, the second another time! One. Man, and I talked about it. Mega Man's horizontal recovery isn't that great. And when he's forced to recover that way, Min Min can just take advantage of that situation. And that puts time gear up to oh. Uh, strides. I don't know about you, but these rewrites hurt. Yeah, that was unfortunate for him because uh, <laughs> the crash bomber at the ledge actually extended the hitbox of Minion's yeah, attack. Yeah, it did. So it made it so he got sent off stage in a point where he was like, okay, I think I'm safe to come back, but nope. Really far off stage, and then that just gave him all the time to get another dragon laser to snipe him. Uh, yeah. Min Min. <laughs> Min powerful from so far away covering so many options and just time gear spacing is just so good too also he's really good at mixing up like he doesn't always just attack him in the same spot like he mixes up like jump attack fade back jump attack like walk forward attack like he actually has a lot of different ways he can you know pressure you yeah just because just because he's allowed to move while throwing out the arms I disagree with Phantom Squidge. Min Min is actually hype. It's just maybe the character's moveset may not be hype, but she causes situations that cause hype and last luck situations for you to really clench your teeth. One, uh, but honestly, man, optimal play isn't always hype. Sometimes optimal play is actually playing lame because when you have a lead, your opponent is forced to make those interactions happen and you can win from that. Yeah. Some of the best players I in the world for different fighting games oh. have played lame and they've won. And Gone! Power Dragon Laser, Jesus! I deleted oh, man. Mega Man stock. Heck, man, if he's forced to go like from far away with only horizontal drift, it's just asking to get hit by Min Min. Oh, the Ram Ram, such a good choice right here. Just peeking below the ledge, gets the grab on the landing too. Oh, the time here is looking so good right now. Oh, it's nice that jump, but he's back to the ledge safely. He has to put in some work here. There's that great recovery from Time Gear too. He's using the jump in the Megawatt, really covering a lot of space off, uh, off stage. Oh, I, can, I like that from you. Trying to set up for the back air to see how Time Gear was gonna play. All right, Crash Bomber. Oh, and the Metal Blade to stop the charge from the Megawatt and the back air indeed. U on 92, Time Gear still on the fresh two stocks, but we'll see, man. Time Gear can definitely make the comeback. He's not not out of the cards for him just yet as long as you hold that parry because the shield there is that mighty small is way too low but there's that megawatt hugely right now for time gear you he needs an edge guard man he's an early kill nice choose to jump over the second hit doesn't get a hard punish though unfortunately My dash attack is actually really lagless. <laughs> Even if it hits shield, it's something like it can cross up too. Mina is interesting. Like she has all these ways to keep you out, but then she has some really good normals as well. Yeah, I feel like it, with the balance of the characters, like we talked about earlier here, if you can pressure Min Min, you eventually will make it back. And so far, Yu is looking to finally get that pressure out. There is the forward smash, calling out the down tilt, seeing how Time Gear wanted to play from the ledge. That's the thing about you, he's got to find the right amount of pressure on time gear and he hasn't been able to. There's the forward smash and there's such a rough angle for the arm. 
tether, but he's still able to recover. His arms hook has got some crazy angles that it can get and it can't get. I'd be looking for the up smash, potentially. You, that is. Time is so tricky to hit. That shield oh. low. Oh my god. You goodness. has been getting away with that low shield. That's all I'm saying, man. One of these days is going to pop with that forward air. Has enough knockback to take care of time gear. 48 on you. This is do or die for you at this point. See what it can pull off through. He's been slowly been picking up on the aggression to put onto time gear, but he might be too little too late. We'll see. Yeah, just the amount of times he's just being put in a rough spot off stage is really been making it easy for time gear to get some uh, really good stocks. But. Leaf Shield putting in a little bit of work here. Nice. He's in his shield a little bit too long. Oh! Oh, uh, unfortunate get up attack. But he's going to go high to avoid a rough situation. There's the Megawatt though. Deep off stage yet again. Uh, yeah, barely almost. avoids the Dragon Laser. Okay. Oh! Yeah. Power of Dragon Laser is really hard because we talked about it, man. That horizontal recovery from Mega Man, not the greatest. Cool, saves that jump, and what a hard knuckle to come back in here. You slowly picking up the pace here. There's the back air, forcing some kind of offstage. There is with the Great second air back air and the forward smash oh. trade. Decent trade. Oh, the, the arm's going right through the projectiles again. Mm, nice move. Okay. Time good, but he's still living. Okay, he has a crash bomb. No shield poke. Crash bombing it again, but not enough. Oh, and unfortunately. Yeah, you had been rolling too much, and I like you have to give it the time gear. Time gear went for a little bit of movement there to, to kind of fake things out here on you, but ultimately you just rolled a little bit too much from the state from the ledge, and that was going to give time gear the 3-0.